Hey, happy Mother's Day, HBCU Legends fans. It's Kyle T. Mosley of HBCU Legends on Sports Illustrated's Fan Nation. Well, happy Mother's Day and happy graduation days for all of you HBCU guys out there for the past couple of weeks. And we got one star who's alumni of HBCU Legends. He's got this young man is kind of special to my heart because he's always been accessible. He's always been very uh, polite and always wanted to engage our fans as well. I wanted to have him to kind of talk you guys through what he has tried to do for his professional career. And that's none other than Mr. Michael Badjo. What's going on, Mike? How you doing, man? All good, man. All good, man. How you doing? All right. It's good to see you on Mother's Day. How's your mom doing, number one? Yeah, she's doing really good. Been very supportive, you know, being far away from home, but she's doing really good. Yeah, I know it's, it must be tough on her because you were her boy. <laughs> <laughs> you already know, man. You're oh, good, good. So, guys, if you don't know, this is former Texas Southern defensive end, and now he's with the Dresden Monarchs over in Germany, in Deutschland right now, man. And, Mike, a lot of people are going to say, how in the world did he get from Dallas to Houston to back to Dallas, and now he's in Germany? How, how did you do it, and what's going on with you, man? Yeah, man, you know, you know, it's just a blessing in disguise with it. You know, the opportunity came to me. Uh, I took advantage of the opportunity, and I just ran with it, man. Uh, you know, I love the game of football. Uh, I still got many more years to play this game. I know I still got a chance, you know, to go up there and play in higher levels. But uh, like I said, the opportunity came, and I'm excited to be out here, man. Well, talk about the team. Um, you're in what part of Germany? Uh, I'm in Dresden, Germany. All right, Dresden, and how far is that from Frankfurt and whatever? Uh, I think it's about like a three, two, three-hour uh, car ride. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. See, I passed through Frankfurt once going to Ethiopia. So uh, I was kind of culture shocked when I went there. When you got a chance to go to Germany, uh, speaking different language and everything else and trying to understand everyone, but I also understand those guys understand the common language, what we call English. Uh, but talk to me, how was that for you just going to a new uh, environment altogether? Yeah, you know, I'm a guy that likes to, you know, experience new things. I'm all about traveling, uh, and it's an adventure, you know. Uh, coming out here and seeing that, you know, American football is still being played and it's brought out here, and seeing guys, you know, moving around the field, having the abilities that I think that can go to the States to compete, you know. So I think it's still pretty cool, and, you know, everybody's on the same page on, you know, trying to go win a championship, and that's something I want to be around. Okay, awesome. So what's the league? What's the league's name over there in Europe? Uh, GFL, uh, German uh, German Football League. Okay, and how many teams do you guys have? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, it's a few numbers. It's a, it's a good number, though. Uh, okay. they, have a, they have a north and south division. Um, and I think, <laughs> I think we're in the south division. We might be in the north. I don't know. I'm still new to all this, uh, <laughs> and I'm just I'm just here playing football, trying to win the championship with the team. Okay. So how many games have you guys played thus far? Uh, two. So we had a preseason game, and and then just the other day, uh, we had our first regular season game. Okay. And you tore it up in the regular season game, man. So uh, I, that's one of the reasons why we connected. I was like, hey, man, what's going on with you? Three sacks, two TFLs, right? And a fumble recovery, if I'm not mistaken. Did I miss any stat? No, no, man. You got it, man. Uh, it, it was just, it's just one of them things where you know, uh, you love the game and, and you put your passion to the game. You watch the film, you break down the film, and you kind of know exactly what plays they're gonna run just by dialing down the film. And you know, it's, it's just one of them deals where you, you know, you put your heart out there, you play hard, you know, to try and get a better chance, a bigger chance, uh, you know, at bigger leagues. Now, you sound like an old Wiley vet. You know, I already understand the plays. I'm diagnosing what's happening in the backfield and what have mm -hmm. you. I'm getting to the quarterback. Uh, has 
these couple of years since you've been out of collegiate football and going through different camps and whatever, has it really helped mature you and, and get you to this point? Yeah, most definitely. You get experience through the, through the journey. Uh, you kind of know, you know, the position you're in. You got to understand your role throughout the position you're in. Uh, it's just a grind, you know. Uh, a lot of guys will get overlooked, you know. HBCU guys, you know, we're, sadly we're still getting overlooked, but, you know, and then some guys are getting an opportunity, and I'm happy for them too, you know. So you just got to understand your role, and you just got to run with it. Now, are you the only HBCU talent that's over there in Germany right now? Yeah, I'm the only one that's here. Okay, all right. So I, if you had any advice for these young guys coming up behind you and they may – kind of shy away from going to the international leagues, what would you tell them would be helpful for them? Yeah, just follow your heart, man. You know, if you love this game, just follow your heart, man. Take any opportunity that comes your way. Uh, you know, of course, pray, talk to God, talk to your close ones before you make any decision. But if you love the game, man, take it. Yeah. All right. Well, good. You've been doing a great job at it. Uh, how has it been for you getting acclimated to – the people, the culture, your teammates? Yeah, it was pretty quick. Um, the family atmosphere was, you know, it was already there before I got here uh, when they announced me on the social media, like January. Uh, the fan base were already starting to reach out to me through Facebook, Instagram. Uh, you know, then we started communicating through text uh, with my teammates and coaches. So by the time I got here, it was already like a second family. So I am enjoying my time here. It's a great atmosphere. Uh, they love American football here. I can mm -hmm. definitely say that. So to those guys that are kind of confused, I don't know what they want to do, but they do get offered an overseas contract, you know, I definitely say take it. You know, take their risk, take their step, because uh, you just never know who will offer you a big job, man. Right, right. It's, it's an opportunity, like you said, right? And that's all you want is the opportunity to keep showcasing your talents and your skill set. Uh, has any of the... I guess the teams or professional leagues in the America, like the National Football League or Canadian leagues, have they taken notice? Yes. Uh, I peek through my Instagram. Like, you know, sometimes I just run, run through my stories uh, and I can see, you know, some CFL teams, uh, they have been looking. Uh, nobody in particular has reached out yet, um, but they have been viewing my Instagram story. So I'm seeing. I'm assuming, you know, the work I'm putting in is taking notice, um, but it's not going to slow me down. Uh, it would just, you know, give me motivation just to keep going until I get a call. All right. Yeah, I hope, you know, I've always been in your corner, man, and I, I really appreciate everything that you've been doing. And if, guys, you don't know this, Michael not only graduated from Texas Southern, he has a master's degree as well, correct? Yes, sir. So, You've set yourself up pretty well for your future, even after football, if this is the, the track you're going to go into. And you have a little small business as well. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. B1 Collection. Uh, we're still up and moving. Uh, just the other day. Yeah, yes. there you go. <laughs> my, man, my man supported me, man. I appreciate you. I even got uh, my teammates that uh, recommended me to go ahead and get some stuff made out here so I can get everybody some merch. So I'm doing that uh, as we speak. Okay. All right. Now let's 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 get for real here. Uh, how the ladies up there? <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Let's get for real." Let's get for real here. Yeah. How, how's the, the the single life? <laughs> I mean, shoot, you walk around here. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't mean look. to put you on blast if you got somebody else. <laughs> nah, look, 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 look. Uh, you know, you know me. I'm always keeping it real. I'm always yeah, keeping it real, man. You know, you you walk around here, man, and you know they they look at you like a like a LeBron James out here, man. I'm I'm telling you so. You know, they they here, but yeah, you know, that main focus is we trying to get that championship, man. All right, we'll talk offline. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how many games do you guys have left in the season? And I know you play play the preseason as well as your first regular season game. So what's next? Uh, so we got about eleven more games left. Uh, I think our first half, the season's the season's already kind of extended pretty long because uh, before we have like first off we have a summer break. I think that's kind of unique with yeah. what 
Mm-hmm. Other leagues don't do. Uh, there's a summer break in the middle of the, in the in the middle of the league in July where you have the whole month off, and uh, everybody's off. So it's like everybody just gets to relax, recover, you know, go home, go see family, or you go travel around, you know, different cities and stuff like that. Um, for just the mornings for us, we have we play every other week, so we have bye weeks every other week until July. So that kind of extends the season as well. Uh, but after the summer break, uh, we have uh, back-to-back games. Yeah, that's interesting because most European countries have a month-long vacation. Only in America, they only give you two weeks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. And you'll be lucky if you get one week, right? <laughs> but uh, one month off – or do you have any plans thus far? What do you want to do? Are you going to come back home to visit your family? Or are you just going to stay there or have them come up to see you? Yeah, I, I'll probably go back home, to be honest, man. You know, I, I kind of miss being around, you know, my family. Miss being around my dogs, too. Uh, yeah. I, t- I tell my mom to FaceTime so I can see my dogs because I miss them. So I'll probably go back home for sure. Yeah. How's sis doing? Yeah, she's doing really good. She's busy, man. She's super busy. You know, uh, she's still in North Carolina, but she's good, though. All right. Well, good, good. Uh, Last couple of things, man. If you notice, not one HBCU player was chosen in the draft, but quite a few have signed on through the rookie mini camps that are going on at this time, and some have even signed contracts after the mini camps, uh, like – Jarvian Howard from Alcorn State. He's with the Packers right now. And a couple other guys have done very, very well thus far. And they've showed that they are capable of uh, initially handling what's happening with the NFL. What's your advice to these young guys who are maybe disappointed but can be able to find hope after uh, going the NFL route and possibly going into the, a league like you are in with the GFL. Yeah, man, it's just you just got to stay motivated, man. It, it's hard. Uh, not a lot of people understand, you know, the shoes that you're in. Uh, you just got to keep pushing. You know, like I said, if you love the game and all that hard work you put through college and you see yourself playing the next level, you just got to keep going. You know, NFL is not the only league now. Uh, we got other leagues now that will help you get there. You know, if you, at, at, at the end of the day, if you want to go there, um, but it's just our motivation, you know, go go to that small circle you have, go to your close ones, you know, stay motivated and just keep pushing. Yeah, definitely. So have you been keeping tabs on what's happening here in Houston with Texas Southern? Uh, I've been seeing, I saw the, uh, the head coach change and I saw, you know, a little bit of the spring game and all that, uh, but they're looking good though. I seen uh, like the quarterback got like a newcomer, of the year, something like that. Right, right. Jace Wilson. Right. Mm-hmm. And of course, Andrew Body, that's your boy, your dog. He's now at Alabama State. Have you guys communicated? Yeah, yeah. I reached out to him on Instagram. Uh, you know, I just told him to stay motivated, do his thing. Like I know he will. Uh, and I'm excited for him. You know, that, that boy got talent, man. Yes, I'm he does. I'm excited for him. And I know for sure he'll get a shot, you know, when it's his when it's his time. Yeah, yeah. Has uh, Coach McKinney reached out to you or anything to that nature? Have you heard anything from him? No, I haven't heard from him. Uh, I just, I just know when, uh, around that time when there was a coach change, and you know, I reached out to him. You know, just telling him I appreciated him throughout my time there at TSU. Yeah, yeah. Coach McKinney, one of the great guys coming out of HBCU football as a head coach. Uh, we were kind of uh, sorry to see him go because he was very good to us, especially with media, you know, so always accessible, always ask, answering questions from us as well. All right. Last thing, Mike, tell us, how are the dressing monarchs? How are you guys going to Throw it down in the GFL. What's going to happen? How how many more sacks are you going to put up? You got three in your first game, man. What's going on? Yeah, man. Like I said, I'm excited. Uh, you know, shout out to our DC, man. Uh, he definitely motivated me uh, making this trip to come over here. And, you know, just by going through our practices and seeing how locked in we are in meetings, you know, I think we definitely have a chance to go to the German Bowl, which is pretty much like the Super Bowl here. Okay. Um, I think we definitely have a shot. Uh, they went and won it in 2021, and I think 2022 and three, they went to the semifinals. So this team is very talented. Uh, 
you know, with me and my background with football, you know, it, it, it wasn't always so bright, you know, with our record and, you know, with the number of wins we got. But, you know, being on a team that knows how to win, you know, it, it, it excites me, you know. It motivates me to keep going harder. So uh, with the sacks, I think that's my biggest thing. Uh, last year, I think the leader sack guy, he got eight sacks. And I got three already. So um, I told myself I want double digits. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to. It's not like a certain number, but I definitely want double digits, man. I definitely want to leave this lead uh, defensive player of the year for sure. All right. We will be keeping track of you, man. And, you know, if you need anything from us over in HBC Legends, all you have to do is reach out to us. We'll keep on keeping on with you. But much prayer, much abundance as far as your blessings over there. Uh, I'm proud of you. Keep up the great work. Man, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you staying true since day one, man. I appreciate it. Always here. And guys, don't forget, go out and get his B1 collection. I don't know if y'all can see that B1 collection that's online. Uh, tell everybody how they can follow you on the World Wide Web. Yeah, so my main shame, uh, Instagram is uh, my last name with two A's and two E's. Uh, and Twitter as well, the real bad Joe. And uh, if you want to follow the page, uh, the merch page as well as B1 Collect. All right. That's Michael Bad Joe out of the Monarchs in Dresden with the German League. Oh, I, it's so much to say, man. He's just a former HBCU football star that we loved him here in the swag. Love you. Keep it up. All right. I appreciate you, my man. Thank you. All right. Thank you. That's Michael Bad Joe.